second term. Experiment number three. Cleaning capacity of soap in hot water and soft water. Introduction. Cleaning capacity of soap. Water is used for washing along with the soap. The effectiveness and cleansing action of soap depends on the type of water. Soft water. The type of water which produces lather with the soap is called soft water. Washing of clothes is very effective and easy in soft water. Hard water. The type of water which does not produce lather with the soap is called hard water. It contains dissolved salts in it. The soap forms scum with hard water and not fit for laundry purpose. Real-time example. Soft water. The water with no salt in it. Hard water. The water with dissolved salt in it. It may be calcium or magnesium salts. For cleansing purpose, the foam needs to be produced which depends on free availability of hydrophobic portion of soaps. In soft water soap, shows the cleansing property by forming foam. In hard water, hydrophobic end of soap is tapped due to scum or precipitation with the calcium and magnesium salts. This makes the hard water unsuitable for washing. Apparatus record. Two test tubes, test tube stand, Samples of hard water and soft water, soap solution and cooking oil. Procedure Take 10 ml of distilled water and cooking oil in a test tube. Label it as A. Take 10 ml of hard water and cooking oil in another test tube. Label it as B. In both the test tubes, add few drops of soap solution. Shake the test tubes A and B vigorously for an equal period of time. Keep them in the test tube stand and record your observations. Observations In test tube A, soap formed lather or foam. In test tube B, white precipitate was formed with no lather or foam. Conclusion Soaps are effective cleaner only in soft water because the soap molecules separate in soft water. But in case of hard water, the soap molecules do not remain as soap molecules, but the ionic end of soap react with the salts present in the hard water to form curdy white precipitate called scum.